All right, going to show you that Roman Catholicism does in fact fulfill Revelation chapter 17, the prophecies in there about mystery of Babylon reigning over the kings of the earth. So first, let's turn to Revelation chapter 17, verses 1 to 2. It says, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth hath committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Let's jump down to verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Mystery Babylon reigns over the kings of the earth, and that is definitely the case with the Roman Catholic Church. They reign over the kings of the earth. The world superpowers like America, and you could say Russia too, they're, they're becoming a world superpower as well. Uh, China is catching up as well. But here are some photos of world leaders meeting with the Pope and basically bowing down to the Pope and kissing his pinky finger. You know, it's just like any cult member would. Here's a picture of Obama meeting with the Pope. Uh, I think I forget which, which Pope that is, but he's meeting with the Pope. Uh, then you got his, you know, wife there, and then, you know, just so happy to meet with the Pope there. In interesting how you know those who say, "Oh, it's America that's mystery Babylon." Okay, well, if America is mystery Babylon, why are they going meeting with the Pope? You know, does America rule over the kings of the earth? I don't think so. Then you got Bill Clinton, the former U.S. president, meeting with the Pope as well. You know, all just happy and smiles, and the Pope is just there. But he's meeting with the Pope as well, showing his allegiance to who he really serves. Then you got U.S. President Donald Trump, former U.S. President Donald Trump, meeting with the Pope. Pope Francis right there. You know, showing who his allegiance is to. He did. He went to a Jesuit university as well. Worth pointing that out. You got the German Chancellor. Uh, Angela Merkel meeting with the Pope as well, shaking hands with them all, just happy to see him. Then you got the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, meeting with the Pope. You know, just there talking with the Pope, having a conversation. So he's meeting with the Pope as well. You could say Russia's a world superpower as well, definitely. Then you got the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau and his wife, meeting with the Pope, presenting him with a gift. Uh, like they always do when they pledge their allegiance to the Pope and show their, their allegiance to the Pope. He's meeting with the Pope. Plus, Canada is a very Roman Catholic country. It's full of Roman Catholics, so not surprising one bit. Then you got the former Canadian Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, and his wife meeting with the Pope as well. Him and his wife there, you know, with the Pope, and then they're just posing for the photos. So he's meeting with the Pope as well. And you got even the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, I think that's how you say his name, meeting with the Pope and presenting him with a menorah and I think it's a Torah down there. So these world leaders are meeting with the Pope in Rome. Because why? Mystery Babylon reigns over the kings of the earth. It's that simple. Mystery Babylon, that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. By the way, city, Vatican City, not great nation, America. It's a city. And the Vatican is a city on seven hills as well, just like it talks about in Revelation 17 and 18 about mystery of Babylon. So it is clear that, that Roman Catholicism does fulfill the prophecies in Revelation 17 verses 1 to 2 and Revelation chapter 17 verse 18. The world leaders are meeting with the Pope in Rome. The Jesuit papacy reigns over the kings of the earth, just like the prophecies in Revelation 17 and 18 say about mystery of Babylon. The Roman Catholic Church is in fact mystery of Babylon. Don't be deceived by those who say it is not. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.